So I want to demo to you um, inlets, but as an operator. And what inlets does is it punches out from a private network to the internet using a virtual machine or a bare metal host. And it allows you to get an IP address for that machine. So an example here would be um, an Nginx pod that I've just run. We'll see that kubectl get deploy. It's up and running. We currently don't have a service for that. Uh, but what I'm going to do is run the inlets operator. And this is going to automate the provisioning of the inlets exit node and the client side component that will connect to it. So simply now I'm going to expose type load balancer. This is how it works. And we can see immediately that we're provisioning a host and this is the ID we got back. Now this is all happening on packet.net using their Go API. And if we look at the services, we've got the load balance for Nginx and status pending. Now you're probably used to seeing status pending on um, a cloud load balancer, but this is actually one that will work from any VM container, any private or NATed network. So over on my packet, um, packet portal, I can actually see this host is coming up and here's one that I did earlier that I've not torn down yet. And this is a public IP. Now that machine isn't in an active status yet. So the controller is going to basically keep getting an event loop coming through from Kubernetes. And now it's decided that the, that um, it's not a VM, it's a bare metal host has come up. It's got a public IP. And if we get the service again, we've got an external IP assigned to it. So now I can go to that external IP in a web browser and I will hit this engine export that's happening to be running on my laptop right now. Next, I want to show you uh, a tunnel CRD. So this is the new CRD that is uh, representing the tunnels that are automatically detected and created. Here we've got um, the host ID and the provisioner, an IP. There's a pod reference or deployment reference to the, um, the client side tunnel. There's an auth token that's used to connect to it. And if we look at our logs, we'll see that we've got a, a connection now. So if we were to take the IP that was exposed on the load balancer, this one, we should just be able to curl that. And there we go, that's Nginx. I've literally just, in a matter of moments, got a cloud load balancer um, to something that's running on my laptop. And if we were to go and just create another Nginx deployment, we'll get yet another one. So anything that you expose with type load balancer will give you a public IP and you can use that to access your internal Kubernetes services, just like that. If you want to know more, come and talk to me uh, on OpenFast Slack or message me at Alex Ellis at UK on Twitter. Thanks.